Hey, come here. So, these products suck, and you should totally buy them. All right, before this video actually begins, I just want to tell you to stick around until the very end because I have a very, very big announcement that you definitely do not want to miss. Like, no, for real. Now here in the lovely Samson home, we have two vehicles that we outfitted for camping and overlanding. I have my Jeep JK and my wife has her fifth gen 4Runner. Now the Jeep, totally decked out. Like I have an entire kitchen set up back there, drawer systems, cutting boards. I just pull into camp basically and pull out the drawers, pull out the cutting boards, and I have my kitchen set up already. The 4Runner, however, does not have that yet. In fact, my wife's not even fully convinced yet that she wants a drawer system in the back of her 4Runner because she uses that for daily driving. She uses it to go to work, we use it to get groceries, we use it for family trips, and she just doesn't know yet if she wants to dedicate that entire back cargo area to like a drawer system slash kitchen setup area. But even with the Jeep, even with the drawer systems and the cutting boards, it's still missing certain things. For example, a dishwashing area. I'm basically just standing there with my hose and my dishes and I'm kind of just washing them by hand and I don't really know where to put them. I'm putting it on the floor. So I've been looking for solutions that can tackle that on the Jeep, but also looking for solutions in the Forerunner to have a kitchen set up without having to build an entire drawer system. Enter Sea Sucker. Now Sea Sucker has made a name for themselves in the marine industry for like the past 18 years. Like that is the core of their business. That's what they're known for. And they also made waves in the cycling world with their suction cup bike racks. Now if you don't think that suction cups will hold a bike to the top of your vehicle, I urge you to go to their Instagram page and check out the video where they lift an entire van with just those suction cups. It is insane. By the way, awesome group of people and I really wanted to work with them. They're also a Florida based company and I love supporting businesses from the state, especially the ones who are innovating and trying to come out with products that we haven't seen before. Now about four or five months ago, they had reached out to me to do a collaboration. They were getting into the off-road overland space. Unfortunately at the time, the offerings they had were were still kind of small because they were just getting into the space and what they did have I really didn't need for the rig anymore like Max Trax mounts and Rotopax mounts but then I ran into them at the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo about a couple of weeks ago and they came out with this and the minute I saw it I said that is what I've been needing that's what I've been looking for for the 4Runner and for the Jeep and I'm excited to share it with you because this thing Trust me, it changes the game. So what you see here is their mobile. So what you see here is their mobile. So what you see here is their mobile kitchen setup. It all starts with this piece. This is the base kitchen. This is basically your food prep area slash cutting board. It will get kind of scratched up when you use it as a cutting board so I would just advise that you put a regular cutting board on top of here. They even put a shelf up here for you just a little ledge and you could put plates kind of stacked up into there and they'll just kind of sit. Now this basically sucks to the side of your vehicle. It's strong enough it will hold but they also wanted to make sure that this thing is kind of level on you so it's not dipping down or dipping up because the last thing you want is your food kind of rolling off this thing. So they added a third support down here that's also adjustable. But here's where they start to think about ingenuity and not wasting space. Instead of just making it a third support, they decided to turn it into a paper towel holder. So now it's acting as double duty. You basically just take this out right here, slide your paper towel through, and then put this back on. I don't want to put it on yet because I want to show you this. I hit them up and I'm like, why is there a lever here that doesn't do anything? Like, am I supposed to lock this onto something? And then they said, oh no, that's just to kind of keep your paper towel in place. What? 
Like who would take the extra step to think of that? This just kind of helps hold it down a little bit. So if it starts to get windy, it's not gonna go rolling on you. That's just, that's genius. Now from here, you can buy all the other components they offer so that you can create the system that you want. Now one of those components I was really excited to see and that is the trash bag holder. Like I have been looking for a way to hold the trash bag open at camp without having to tie it to a tree or tie it to my tail light. Well, now I don't have to worry about that. They give you these little clips right here. You put a trash bag and then you kind of put it over the rim. Then you take the corner pieces and just lock that trash bag in place so it's not falling off on you and it stays locked and secure until you're ready to take these out and throw the trash. And this can fit on either this side or this side. Now I will say that these are not just gonna go into these slots like manually. Once you decide which side you wanna put them on, you're gonna need to take a rubber mallet and kind of pound them in there because you don't want them to be loose. You, it needs to be tight because if this thing gets heavy with garbage, this thing is just gonna fall off if it's not like tight on here. So once you got that locked in place, it's not going anywhere. All right, so base station, garbage on one side. What can you put on this side? Well, you got this little guy. You see this at the bottom, the way they have this kind of, this slot in here, because you can take the Rubbermaid that they, they give you with the kit, and this basically slides right in there. And you now have a place to kind of either put leftover food or whatnot or just have all the food and ingredients that you have in here while you're prepping your food. I mean, they could have just made this simple and say, okay, you just kind of drop it in and you can if you want speed, but you can also just slide it. You can also just slide it in and you now have basically a seamless space to just drop stuff in. And then when you're done, you can just pull it out put your cover back on and this can go back in your fridge or wherever it needs to go. Now, if you really wanted to add the final piece and grow this to the max, you can add one more component, which is one of my favorite ones. It's this guy. This will also click into here. Good thing about this part though, is that this has a suction cup to it. You don't want this really long kind of kitchen setup and you're only going off of two suction cups over here. You can have some weight on both ends. Now you might be wondering, well, what the hell is this? Your sink. And that is where I can wash dishes and have a place where it's high up and I'm not putting my dishes on the ground. We already have one of these for camp and I'm always, I'm never knowing where to put this thing. I'm either putting it on the table, but then the table gets wet and I gotta clean the table too, or I'm putting it on the ground, but then like the dishes will topple over and then it will fall onto the dirt. Like I don't, I can't even count how many times that has happened. But now I have a place to actually put my sink and I can wash it next to the food prep and all that other good stuff. Now they also offer a bunch of accessories that can complement the system without necessarily attaching to the system. And one of those accessories I really, really like is their cup holder. This comes in different configurations. I don't know about you, but my son, my wife, and myself, we all have our own bottles and our own cups at camp. And we are always finding them in random spots or misplacing them. Like my wife will be like, where'd my bottle go? Or my son will leave his on a camp chair or I'll be like, where'd I put my drink? Now we have at least one designated spot to put those things and we know exactly where they're at at all times. And that is Sea Sucker's mobile kitchen setup. I think it's awesome. And I know you can't wait to see how it gets set up on the rig. So let me show you that. I'm gonna do it on the Jeep and on the 4Runner and show you exactly how this thing is getting used. Now the setup for the 4Runner is actually gonna be quite simple. Now because the 4Runner doesn't have an entire kitchen setup yet in the back of the rig the way I do with the Jeep, I'm gonna actually use the entire Sea Sucker kitchen setup and put it on the side here. Now, I know some people are gonna be concerned. Well, if you have an entire kitchen set up here, how are you gonna open and close the doors? Well, we found that at camp, we've never really needed to access the inside of the rig from this side. We can always access it from the other side anyway. Now, my only concern with the 4Runner versus the Jeep is that the 4Runner, as you can see, has a much curvier profile than the Jeep does. The Jeep is very flat, so the suction cups should go on that really easily. 
but with this, we're about to find out if the sea sucker suction cups can still grip onto something that's a little bit more curved like this. Now to attach the kitchen setup, you want to make sure you take off the caps at the end of the suction cups. Don't throw these away though, because you want to use these to protect these suction cups when you're not using the system. Now you just go ahead and raise it up, place it where you want, push it in just a little bit, and then you're going to start pumping these uh, suction cups until the orange disappears. And then once that's secure, you want to go ahead and turn this knob down here, and that'll just basically add that third support and level this out for you. There you go, perfectly straight. Let's test it out. Look at that. Now, for the cup holder, same situation. Take off the little protective cap. Don't lose this. There you go. Not going anywhere. Now the kitchen setup on the Jeep is going to be a bit different. I already have a ton of food prep counter space in the back of this rig. My issue has been after I wash dishes, like where do I put those dishes? Because my water port is over here and I want a place to kind of organize things when I'm washing dishes after a meal. And even if I wanted to put the entire sea sucker kitchen set up, I couldn't do it on this particular rig anyway. And the reason that is is because I have these hinge steps on the side of this Jeep that I can't put the entire length of that sea sucker kitchen set up. These just get in the way of me being able to put something all the way through. So we're gonna break it up. And because this system is so modular, we'll be able to do that and make everything fit in the areas that I want. Now, first up is the kitchen base, and I'm gonna be mounting that on the driver door. When we get to camp, I've never needed to open the driver door. There's nothing in there that I need access to, but the passenger door, we definitely open and close this a ton to have access to our fridge. So I don't wanna put anything on that that will hinder this from opening and closing. Now, again, you're just gonna take your base, plop it on, now next up is the sink, and because this one isn't really as wide, I am gonna try to attempt to put this on the passenger door so that it's close to the water port, and then I'm gonna test it to see if I'm still able to open and close that door without anything getting hit. Perfect, nothing gets in the way, nothing's getting bumped, and I still have access to the fridge through the passenger door. This is awesome. And then finally, the cup holder. Look at this. Like, that's not coming off. And I'm pushing. This one, not coming off. Like, I'm pushing. And we're never really going to put anything heavy on here anyway. Trash bag will go there. Paper towel will go here. This one is a little loose because we don't have, like, a third support system there. But that's not, like, see, that's not going anywhere. It's just going to kind of wobble on you. But we're really just using this to wash our dishes, put stuff in, and... Yeah, that's pretty much this. So this just came in and I'm actually really excited about it. I was filming my video when UPS came and dropped this thing off. There's a part of the kitchen that I want to put in this whole setup. And I asked them if they had something similar to what is inside this box. And they said, we do. It's just not available yet. It's in prototype mode. Do you want to check it out? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Let me, let me just show you what it is because this for me is going to help out so much and it might actually be my most like favorite product from them. So it's just two suction cups, but it has hooks at the end of it. Now you're going to wonder, you showed us a sink. Uh, you showed us a garbage holder. Uh, you showed us a prep station. Why is this something that is going to be one of my favorites? I mean, you can go to Target, Walmart, and buy one of those suction cup hook things. Yes, but they're not going to be as strong as this, and I need this to be strong. Let me show you why I like this a lot. Hooks for my front runner kitchen set. I have been looking for ways to hang this somewhere. I can't just use regular suction cup with hooks on them because this thing gets a little heavy. But now that I have these from Sea Sucker, I have a way to hang this thing up and all of our utensils is easy to get to.
You know I can hear you mumbling, right? Go ahead, say it, use your words. You have concerns, and you know how I know you have concerns? Because I had concerns. Anytime something new comes on the market, something we haven't seen before, something that we're not used to, it's natural to have concerns and be skeptical about it. Like, is it the real deal or is it just another gimmick? For example, one of the concerns that I had, which I brought up to Sea Sucker, was that, look, we're hitting the trails. We're going through water crossings. We're going through mud holes. By the time we get to camp, the entire side of our rig is just caked up with mud and dirt and grime and sand. Like, how are we going to stick this thing on when our entire side of the rig is covered up like that? And he told me that these suction cups are so heavy duty that if you could at least manage to get the majority of the mud and the dirt and the grime off, take your water port and kind of hose it down with water. You don't have to get it spick and span. You don't have to bring it to a shine these suction cups should still adhere. Now my second concern, which is probably the main concern that you have is, are these suction cups strong enough to hold up a kitchen like that? Let's not forget that Sea Sucker made a name for themselves in the marine industry for like a really long time. They might be new in this overlanding space, but they've been doing suction cups for a while now and they've had that thing perfected. And we know how we feel about marine grade stuff. Marine grade products just translates very well to the things that we do with our vehicles. Marine grade products has to withstand much harsher conditions than we have to sometimes. Like things that are placed on boats have to be able to withstand stuff like salt water, humidity, different kind of climate. So anything that works well in the marine industry just translates very well to the things we have to do. So I have no doubt that if Sea Sucker can manage to perfect the stuff in the marine industry, then what they're producing for us, it should be no problem. But to be fair, the system that I'm running right now is a static system. It's a system that we put on the rigs when we're at camp and if the suction cups fail, then the suction cups fail and they'll just fall on the floor. The vehicle is not moving. Well, what happens if we use their other products that stay mounted to the outside of the vehicle for the duration of the trip? Things like your Rotopax holder and your Max Tracks holder. Now, I can't speak to those products simply because I don't have them, but what I will tell you, follow these two guys, Overlanderoos and Sunshine State Vikings. They're actually on the Georgia Traverse right now, testing out some products for Sea Sucker that remain on the outside of their vehicle. Follow them subscribe to their channels and then wait for that video and you'll get an update on how well those kind of mounts are holding up. But for me, I am loving the mobility of this setup, something that I can just keep in the garage and then when we go, I take it with me and now I have a full kitchen in a vehicle that doesn't have a kitchen setup in it. And with a vehicle that does have a kitchen setup in it already, I have all these different components to expand that kitchen. Plus this thing is packed with features. I didn't get to talk about it earlier when I was showing you all the different components because I didn't know they existed until I started shooting the B-roll for this video and started noticing all these little things that I didn't know was there. For example, here on the sink, this little hole right here is for a faucet. So if you have one of those travel faucets, the ones that kind of work off of like battery power, you can put it like right there and you now have a faucet with your sink. And then over here in the prep area, you have these little hooks where you can hang grocery bags off of. So if you have bags of groceries, you can hang it off there. And then all these little slots, one here and then two right here, those are for knives or whatever else that you might be needing to cook with. You can just slide them in there and it'll be handy when you need it. And then the shelf down there, I talked about it being a place where you can put your plates. Well, it's actually a spice rack and this is a place for you to put all your spices. It'll be handy right when you're prepping your food. Now, no review is complete if I don't give you the overall picture, right? And if there's one thing I wish they would change or something for them to consider for their next version is the way these pieces hook together. Like right now, they use these pegs and they're very tight. And that's a good thing because you don't want this thing kind of falling apart on you at camp, but that can also be a hindrance when you want to compact this down into a smaller size and then travel with it easier instead of bringing this whole thing hook together. I want to be able to take these apart easily and then kind of clip them on together again when I get to camp. I don't know. They're, they're the engineers, not me, but I just wish they would have an easier way to kind of take this down and then put it back together again. 
But other than that, like I said, I am loving this system. Like you'd be hard pressed to find someone who this wouldn't work out for. Like if you're someone who doesn't want to build a dedicated kitchen in your rig because you drive it daily, then this is a great thing to have and you can move it from one vehicle to another. Or if you have a built out system already in your rig, then you can just take some of the little pieces that they offer and utilize that with your current system now. Now I know with a new product, there's always going to be a lot more questions, a lot more concerns, and you could leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to address each one. But what I would rather urge you to do is to support us on Patreon. Go to Patreon, find Baptism Overland, and for as little as $3 a month, you become a patron and that gives you access to the live streams that we're starting to do every Sunday night. So this video is going to be released Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And then at 7 p.m. Central Time, we're gonna be doing a live stream for all of our patrons where you'll get to ask me any questions about the video that was just released. In fact, I am trying to get Seasucker to jump onto this particular live stream so you can ask them questions directly and we can discuss the product even more and they'll even give you some insight on some of the newer stuff that they're gonna be coming out with. Speaking of Seasucker and how awesome they are in supporting this channel, in preparation and celebration of this channel hitting 10,000 subscribers, we're like 180 subscribers away, you guys they agreed to give away one of their kitchen base stations to one of you. But it's not just Seasucker. We also have companies like Frontrunner, MyMedic, Midland Radio, Light Force, Moose Knuckle, Florida Adventure Trail, Gorilla Dirt, all these other companies who agreed to give something for my 10,000 subscriber celebration. So make sure you watch the next few videos because I'm gonna be giving more information how you could win all this amazing stuff that these companies are giving out. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also click that notification bell so you can be notified anytime we release new videos. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time. I wonder if I can get this to stick on to me. Let's let's see.